Something just wet my leg. Is there anything down on my leg? No. Mm -hmm. Holy I mean, it came up like this. We are at the Monroe house. We're getting ready to go inside. It's been six years since we've been inside, so let's head in real quick. Oh! I wouldn't walk into this house by myself, ever. I don't feel comfortable or safe in this house. I've seen too much, I've heard too many things. There's no way I would walk in here by myself. No way. One evening we were upstairs and the door to the entryway, it started swaying back and forth and Eddie tried to stop it with his hands and couldn't even stop it. Footsteps, doors slamming, running, but we never can find where it is or there's obviously nobody in the house. Fire that was in the basement that killed a little girl. The neighbors keep seeing shadows up in the window. The lights are coming on and off by themselves. The neighbors will call the police. Police show up. The house is locked shut. Nobody's inside. Just be careful. When the lights started going off, systematically is what bothered me a little bit. I uh, went from the hall to the kitchen and finally to where I was at with my floodlight was the final light that was lighting the place up. So I left out the bathroom window and pulled the extension cord and how I left. Uh, it's funny when you don't believe in ghosts when something odd happens like that, that part of the brain kicks on and you're thinking, how do I get out of here? The footsteps and the door is troubling. I at first thought it was just house settling and I could find a cause, but it, it doesn't repeat itself enough to where you can pinpoint it. But I think the worst one was uh, last year when uh, I, I seen something, just a shadow, was breaking the sunlight that was coming through the window. A hiss, a growl, and uh, that, was, that was a tough one there. That was the hardest, I'd say. I didn't do a good job, I handled that bad. I should have went in and checked right away. Instead, I backed out of the house quickly. When it happens, it's, like I said, I'm not talking about the creaks or the pops. It's the, there's somebody in here walking around. I just heard a door open. You know, I, the loud footsteps is, I don't know. I just, and then it ruins your day. You're done working. It's hard when you're, uh, you've not been exposed to that kind of stuff. Uh, ghosts has never been anything in our family. We, you know, that wasn't our hobby or anything. So it is kind of startling when you, for the first time, think, wow, this might really be real, you know, that stuff might really exist. Mm -hmm. But uh, th that's, that's the hard thing to, you know, get settled in. He hit the boiler and I thought he fell. So I come in real quick because I was a little worried about him being hurt in liability. And he passed me as I was coming in. And uh, he said something was in the crawl space. And I said, uh, I, I thought raccoon or possum. And I said, there's something in the crawl space. He said, yeah, whatever it was, he heard it at first and he stopped. And it quickly moved up on him. And he said, uh, he's, he's done. And I said, you know, we'll get it out of there. It's just a raccoon or possum. He said, no, he said, you can have the copper pipe. And he left everything, he just left. And the second was electrician and he left the place unlocked, which upset me, and didn't even tell me, didn't even call me. He thought his um, way he described was a child or somebody light had run around him or something, and it startled him so bad he about come off his little step, his stool. I think he was working on some fixtures, and he packed up. And that is true, because I came in and I seen he did leave the stuff, so I contacted him, and he said, no, he's done, I, I can have it. And that was it, and I, I assumed he was upset. I'd done something that upset him, so I thought, well, you know, you know, I tried to make it up to him, and he didn't want to discuss, you know, working on the house anymore. It's harder to work in here, and yeah, it made it uh, where you're on edge all the time. I was just checking the rooms out before I was leaving, and uh, that stroller had moved. It wasn't in the same position it was. And then you get that feeling that hits you, you know, like uh, you're startled and you got to go. And that was recent to do. It, it moved quite a bit. I mean, it was that noticeable. It's, uh, 
yeah, that one kind of caught me off guard. And now I'm slowly shifting over to where I, you guys got my attention. I guess I, it's more for me. Just if you guys find some stuff, you know, I'll, I'll start being more open-minded and uh, might make me a little bit more curious on, you know, looking into it myself a little bit. For my own mental sanity that, am I really hearing this stuff and seeing it? I know I am. You know, it's broad daylight, some of this stuff. But yeah, I think it's more for me. But if it's really bad, there's some family members that might take it a little harder. And they, they have before, whether they told you or not. Like not sleeping for a couple weeks. So, yeah, sometimes when you hear the footsteps or, um, well, that, that shadow or whatever broke the shadow, that bothered me deeply because that wasn't somebody telling me a story. That's me standing there and I saw it and I heard it. And uh, that, that's hard to get a beat on. It's hard. Yeah, and that, that, that to this day, I'm still wanting a, an answer to that. The more time we've spent here, the more I find that there's things that just aren't normal about the house. Footsteps, hearing people behind you walking, there's nobody there. I mean, you can be a skeptic to a certain extent, but then when things are happening right in front of you, it's, you can't deny it, but it's still just to the point sometimes that you just don't want to admit it, you know? But it's just the more you almost stop and really listen to your surroundings, it's just, it, it does scare you to come in here. After seven years, my brothers and I have traveled back to Hartford City, Indiana to investigate one of the most haunted locations we have ever been to. For this special Halloween episode, we will spend the entire night inside the Monroe House. Okay, so we just got here to the Monroe House. We have not been here in six years. So this will be the first time we're walking back inside this location. One of the most haunted places I think we've ever been to. So we're super excited about tonight. We're gonna be here all day today. We're gonna be here all night. We're staying the night here. Nervous going back inside this house. So we'll see how it goes. We're back here tonight. It's been six long years since we were inside this house. Tonight we want you to come forward and talk to us. It's like footsteps. It sounded like it was on this kind of floor, right? Yeah. That's you. Can you give us a sign? Almost sounds like the house is breathing, doesn't it? You hear that? Yeah. This right here is the basement. So last time Rocky and I were down here, we had some incredible spirit box responses. And if I remember right, I was sitting here, Rocky was sitting over there, and we heard this loud banging coming from upstairs. So there was nobody in the house with us, and it was like huge crashing sounds upstairs. Who's down here with us? Is there a little girl in this house? Is there a little girl in this house? Who's the one person? Who's the one person? Emma, are you down here? Are you truly evil or you just act like you are? Can you scream real loud for us? That was weird. Wow. Did that sound like a scream? Can you say Josh? Do you say Rocky? Say Rocky? 
Who's the one that's scratching people? Yeah. Hit something really hard and let us know that you see us. It's like walking. Back here is where they found the bones. We've never been back through this hole. So we're definitely going to go in there tonight. Okay, we are going to go back where they found the bones. This is the first time we have ever been back here. I'm coming in too. How'd you do this? Just crawl. If this ladder falls. I swear God, something comes up and... So back in there, if you guys can see, that's where the human bones were found. So we'll definitely come in here tonight. What if they put the bones back in there if the bones are still in the house here? I keep waiting for something to crawl up and... That's tight fit, guys, sorry. Oh. All right, here. Why do you ask some questions? So we was in this house six years ago. Is there anybody here that remembers us? Holy shit, Josh. What? I think that's one hell of a oh, shit. Get the out of here. <laughs> Holy shit. Sorry for language, guys. That is a huge spider. <laughs> is that a spider? Yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> go, that's a freaking... Hold on. Holy crap. Just go. Let <laughs> see that. <laughs> that thing was right up against my arm. <laughs> it's okay. Josh says he's sleeping down here tonight. Hell with that. <laughs> That thing's as big around as your fist. Give me the light. Yeah, let's get out of here. So I feel like anytime we have something like that happen, it's a dumb idea. Sorry for the camera there, guys. We'll send Rocky down there tonight. All right. Okay, that was too creepy. Tell you, if you have not been to this place, you just don't understand unless you come here. It feels like every corner you look around or every room, it feels like somebody's just staring at you. Did you hear that bang? Mm-hmm. So in this room is where me and Josh was six years ago. And whatever I was talking to was pretty dang intelligent because it started leading me, telling me to go right, go left, go left again and let us into another room, which I'll take you in that room real quick. Remember we were sitting right here and that voice came uh -oh. over and said, run. So we were sitting in this room here and we wasn't doing spare box. We were just asking questions or whatever. And next thing you know, something just, the smell of voice comes and just says run. Cause I, to me, whatever, you know, was up here, just didn't want us up here. Did we go down the basement look for the missing girl? So should we go down the basement look for the missing girl? What oh, the f Lies well. Oh, Jesus. Get up. What the f That was plain as day. So is the missing girl down in the basement? What? So it seems like when you're up here, whatever is up here, it don't want anybody up here. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. That was loud. Go back there. While Sean and I are on the second floor, our X cameras document two doors closing on the first floor. I think this is where it led us, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was this room. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy sh**. What? There was what? something just freaking ran right across that f***ing door. Go towards it. Josh, that was bad. Dylan, what the hell that was? It didn't even look like a freaking human. It had 
like a freaking big arch to it, like here, like this. It was like it all, it came running, but it was like freaking sitting there looking at us as a freaking ran. I see something like that again. Show show itself. Get aggressive with it. No. I'm telling you, I see something like that again. I'm sitting on the freaking truck. Did you hear that? Yeah. Talking. Holy s***. Josh, get over here. Just push it. It's freaking coming from all directions. I know, but keep... I don't know how you're supposed to push to something. Like we talked about before, it's going to be a really scary night to try to spend the night here and sleep here. This right here was the area I heard the footsteps. And it seemed like, because I was right, just started going down them steps. And when I heard them footsteps coming up, it sounded like somebody was standing like right here by the hallway. Heard you. I swear to God, it sounded like somebody was down here running around and moving. That's what I heard too. I can't see. Whoa. The crazy thing is, when these voices come across and you hear them with your own ears, it's plain as day. With darkness finally falling over Hartford City, we will begin our investigation. Okay, so we're back here in the Monroe House. We were here two previous times before that and documented some of our best evidence we've documented in 15 years. It's a full blue moon tonight. That's supposed to increase the activity. It's Halloween. We're hoping that it helps increase the activity. So we figured this would be a special night to get back in here to the Monroe House. One place that we were apprehensive of coming back. My name is Josh. This is Rocky and Sean. I'm sure you remember us. You scared the hell out of us last time we were here. Where do you want us to go? You realize we can hear you when you speak. Maybe not everybody can hear you. Is there cobwebs there? Something just touched my arm right there. Watch the camera. All right, when I was walking through here, did you hear that? It's not like a kid said, it's me. Any spirits inside this house, we're back and we want to communicate with you. We've got alarms upstairs and the other rooms. Can you communicate with us? Do you hear that? Thank you. Oh, that was loud. That was you. Can you do that again? Walk past one of our alarms and set it off. So let's see if we can get it to come to us versus us chasing it throughout the house. Can you come closer to us? If you hit something super hard, we'll come to you.
you know, when you walk by these rooms like this, I always feel like something's going to jump out and freaking grab you in this house. Where are you at? Show yourself. Walking. Did you hear that? Yeah. It's kind of creepy standing right between both of these doors. Oh, what was that? It's back there with you. No, I think it's up there. I thought it was right there with Sean. It might be, but up. Is that that, 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 that's that door? upstairs I've got that baby monitor in that room with all the Ouija boards can you hit something upstairs if you're walking that room's full of Ouija boards hit something in there Almost afraid to use this thing in here. Remember what happened last time with us in the basement? I command the spirits that are in this house to do something right now. Did you hear that? Yeah. There's a kid talking. Shh, shh, shh. Hear that laughing? Yeah. Shh. Are we pissing you off? We don't care. Sound like it again. I dare you to touch one of us right now. We know what you did. We know what you did. What the hell? Something just touched my leg. Is there anything down on my leg? No. Holy I mean, it came up like this. Something just growled. Do it again! This thing has been virtually quiet most of the night. Talk to us. Oh! Talk to us. Oh! What was that? Something just touched my hand. I swear to God. Are you down here touching us right now? Do something big right now. Back here's the room I'm gonna be sleeping in tonight. It's like super. Yeah, it's Remember that smell? Last time you were getting that sulfur smell back here too. Yeah, it was like right here. Remember, that's when all hell broke loose. Yeah. When you Bet it was in that room right next to you. Yeah. 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 For, for how cold it is. For how cold it is back here. Oh, yeah, very oh I smell it. We, sm it. we can smell you. 
You smell like death. That is strong. Where are you at? We. Did you hear that? Yeah, it was right behind me. There. It sounded like it was in the other room. Sound like it knocked on wood. Yeah, on the other room though. Did you hear it again? To me, it sounds like it's coming from in there. Keep going in there because that smells wrong. Okay, the basement door is open, so nobody fall down the basement steps. Let's stand right here with the basement door open. This is where you got that sulfur smell last time, this room right here. Yeah. You still smell it? I smell it as soon as we walk in. Tell us your name. We know you're in here. Are you afraid of us? Are you draining our batteries? I cannot see back here. I feel like watch something bad happen in the room I'm gonna sleep in. And then I won't want to sleep in here, which is probably a bad idea because it's like the furthest away from any exit in this house. But the closest to the basement. And the closest to the basement. I feel like we all should sleep in here tonight. Sean, you want to run a spirit box session and I'll record you. Is there anybody in this basement with us? Did you just say my name? You tell me who's standing by the tunnel? How many people's down here with us? Are there still bones down here? Bones they found was it male or female? Can you do something? Let me know that you're here with us. Can you bang on something? Wood. I'm gonna go in this tunnel, okay? Or whatever this room is. Can you see me? Oh. What the hell? I got like that. Um, you would have thought I got a spider web film when I first walked in here, not after. Are you touching me? Was you here last time we was here? Was you the one leading me around last time? Last time you told me to run. I'm not running this time. Are you upstairs? Do you like having me here? You want me to go upstairs? Knock on the upstairs and I'll come up there. There was something over the stairs. Are you trapped in there? Welcome to 
come out and play with us tonight. That's pretty creepy. Yeah. So like I said, you're dead. Say my name again. We're going to be sleeping tonight. Are you going to bother us? Holy sh! I said it twice. There's, yeah. There's a male and then a child. What sound like? Are you getting cold chills? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I'm like freaking freezing. Is there a child in here with us? Is there a mean spirit in here? Let me try this baby monitor down here, Sean. It sounded like you were getting some good responses. Definitely a male and a female. Is that what you guys were hearing? Oh, yeah. But the female seemed like she was coming across more direct. And she said she's not going to let us sleep tonight. So we'll see. The two kids that the psychic picked up on last time we were down here. Is that a kid crying? Well, I heard something. It looked like there was something that went straight into Rocky's chest. The two kids that lived in this house. Your daddy used to beat you. Remember last time we were here, you said, Daddy, no? Like a kid. It sounded like he said, Daddy. That's f***ed up. That's f***ing crazy. That's definitely a kid. Yeah. Just call me. To daddy. rewind it one more time. It says, Daddy, and then it says something else. Yeah, it says something else, but I was so... Overwhelmed. We heard you last time we were here. Can the children come forward and speak to us? We're in the basement. Please go up to our device and try to talk into it. Hit something hard in the room with the Ouija boards. right behind your head. Are you behind Sean? We heard you. Hit something in that room right now. Mm -hmm. That's the room with the Ouija boards and those dolls. There's got to be a ton of freaking energy in there with people doing Ouija board sessions and seances and stuff. Do something super loud and we'll come to the room with the Ouija boards. Mm-hmm. I didn't come to the room. No. Someone was right behind Josh. Get a Cool, Who's the baby we heard last time?
Do you have a kid? Mm-hmm. Oh. Something moved. That's when he was here. was from the room or whatever. Mm-hmm. That sounded like something scooted across the wood floor. Do something bigger. Did it. He's not moving. That was so loud. Can we hear your voice? Can you not talk? One more time, give us a sign in that room and we will come up there with you. You've made people run out of this house scared for their life. Do something. Oh, you know what I want to do? I was thinking about that earlier. Yeah. You know that recording of that Annalisa, the exorcism? Yeah. What the hell was that? What if we play? Uh, it was something to me. It was like a kid. Yeah. And that's what's weird, is down here you get like kid voices, yeah. but the rest of the house you're getting like adult. Whoa, did you hear that? Those I'm moving away from that hole, I'm sorry. I feel like this will maybe get something going. Is one of your people talking? Oh, there's been two lights that went like right into you. Let's just let this see if it picks up energy. This is a true exorcism. Does that sound familiar to you? Does that voice sound familiar to you? That young lady was possessed by a demon. Show yourself. Turn on a baby monitor now. Whoa, what the f was that? What? Did you hear that? Back here. Josh. Quit moving. It's back here behind Josh. It sounds like a demon. Yeah, that comes across. We're out of here. What? Did you hear that voice? Is that where you're from?
Deep voice, yes. Did you hear that? There's something right behind you. I heard it. But I heard what you... What was... Okay. Something, uh, something just walked. Mm-hmm. Like scruffed its foot. Oh, it's so cold right here. You feel that? My back's it's freaking cold. cold here too. My back's freezing right now. This whole basement, the temperature down here has literally dropped like the snap of your finger. We know you're down here with us. Did you come down here because this voice sounded familiar to you? Hit something in here or let us hear your voice right now. What the f is that? Put this in okay. Man, there's something I'm kind of walking. What are you doing? It's got something going on shoe places. Look. Oh. Listen. Stop. What's oh. talking? Come real slow. As slow as you guys can. So loud. There might be quiet for a second. Are you upstairs? I heard you. I'm afraid to look up the fucking stairs. Talk to us, please. Sound like something walking. Rocky, go stand on that stairwell and put your camera up the top of the stairs. Do that again. I wasn't feeling a cold breeze over there. It's like air conditioning. Hit something upstairs for Rocky. Come on. 
I feel like coming up last in the stairs is worse than going up first. No, if you see how dark it is right now, it is pitch black. It stopped. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Right behind me. Something too. Knocking right behind me. Yeah. Okay, keep doing that. I'm gonna keep the camera out here. That was on the wall right behind me. Move this if you can. Move something on this table for me. If you want to come in this room, you gotta go through Josh. I know this sounds familiar. It's part of what you sound like. Whoa, what was that? Out here. Are you trying to come in here? Touch Josh. There's all kinds of stuff in this room you can move. What I was just playing, does that sound like somebody you know? Is that your master? Yes. Holy That was loud back there. I'm just going to stay out in this hallway. Okay. You guys keep. Bright light just went right through the camera. Walk back here, Sean. Go down here and turn left like that kitchen area. Yeah. Hey, set that alarm back on real quick. The right switch. Let's go in here. Last time I was here, you led me this way. What was you leading me to? Did you hear that? It sounded like it. There's an alarm. Well, it sounded like something hit the wall. Okay, yeah, why is the alarm going off? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Something hit the wall, then the alarm went off. Are you in that room now? Remember, last time we'd stay in that room and it'd be over here running around. Yeah. And then when we came over here, it would go back over there. Behind you, Josh. Mm -hmm. Knock on something. That was loud. Yeah. Do you not like it when we play them voices? Do you just not like it when people are in here? Okay, you say my name a lot. Can you say Rocky or Josh's name? So I know what you're real? 
Say Rocky. No. Josh, behind you. Mm -hmm. Go back there towards it. You like me chasing you? Duh. Is there a kid in here? You want me to try to find you? Let me hear the baby in our will. I want to hear what Rocky and Josh heard six years ago. Let's go in that room with the Ouija boards and let's just sit there for a minute and just see what we hear. I feel like that room's got like a ton of energy. Yeah. I think it's because all those Ouija boards, people just probably opened all kinds of... It's crazy how it gets like super active and then it just dies, you know? Go, 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 go. go towards it. You back here? You gotta come through me if you want to help. Oh! Jesus! Holy Josh, it was in here. Oh, remember? It was in the bathroom, too. Well, whatever I heard yeah, was in yeah, here. Yeah, go in there. In here, it was in here. Last time. Shut the door. Hopefully it's not out here. Are you in here with us? Oh, Are you in here? Baby. Just say baby. Baby. Can you tell me the baby's name? Was it your baby? Okay, there's like way too much going on out there. Too <laughs> wise. There's way too much noise. Going out there. I don't like that being fucking closed. Was it your baby? It's me. Good boy. Light just went by you. Was that you? What room did you die in? How their light went right by you. Is that you that we're seeing? Hear that? Oh. Shh. Stop that. I did. It's out of here. Just let me stand right here for a second. Okay, let's Whoa. go. What the hell is that right behind you? Do you hear something or see something? No, I heard it. Well, open the door so I can see it. This one, we're, hey, Rocky, come over out here, Josh, turn, come. Where'd you left? Rocky, just stand right here. 
want to communicate with you. We can hear you. Why can you only knock on stuff? Talk to us. You have literally made people run out of this house. Show yourself. Let's get that SLS camera and we'll walk through the house and see if we can map anything out. Okay, we've got a device that we can hopefully see you. If you can come forward. Oh. Hey, Josh. Oh, God, that hurt. <coughs> there's plenty of room in the room. Well, not when there's a freaking chair sitting right there. Can you show yourself in here? So I think this part of the house right here feels pretty good, don't you? Yeah, these two rooms. Mm -hmm. Oh, stop, stop. Upstairs. There's walking again. Okay, go. Can you come in this hallway? If you walk back this hallway, we can see you. I feel like this part of the house back here. And the upstairs is definitely the creepiest. You know? Oh, yeah. Someone's been on fire down the basement upstairs. It's kind of weird because you don't get that smell of that sulfur. No, I s Do you smell it here? Or is that just me? No, I don't mean back here. Mm hmm. I don't smell it. Let's go check the room. I'm not standing where you're at. Huh? So I'm not standing where you're at, so I don't smell it. Let's go check the room we're going to sleep in. Oh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that hurt. That was my other knee. You pay attention that time. I can't see because the screen is so bright. Can you come over to this rocking chair? Come sit in the chair for me. Oh, you hear that? Voices. Mm -hmm. If that's you we heard, come sit in the chair. All you gotta do is sit in the chair. You hear that? Mm hmm. Maybe it's back walking. Maybe it's walking towards the chair. I dare you to sit in the chair. I think you're afraid to sit in the chair. Mm -hmm. I feel like if somebody that can actually see with night vision tells me if I'm going to run into something. The Rocky's in front with you. So I'm trying to map stuff out. Josh, 
What? Yeah, did you want to check the basement? Yeah. Are you back in that little cubby hole? Where are you? Down here. I smell something. Down here. Down here. It's in that hole. I'm gonna freaking kill myself with this thing. It already said we was going to. Are you back there? Come forward. Let us see you. Yeah, I'm not picking up anything back there. Let's go upstairs. Okay, we are in the Ouija board room. Can you walk over by that Ouija board? Show yourself. Oh, Josh. What? I just heard something in here. Where at? Straight that way, towards the bathroom again. Are you back there? Let us see you. Walk over by Rocky. There's some stuff up there on one of those shelves. With thousands of viewers watching our live feed, I will document some of our most compelling evidence while alone on the second floor. Can you move something or push something over? A couple balls on the table. Can you move one of these balls? If you can see me, knock once for yes, twice for no. Okay, that was definitely out there. That was definitely out there. Are you in this room? Knock for me. Oh, no way, that was loud. You guys heard that? Like something dragging on the floor. Something was definitely coming up the steps. You can come up and touch me. I'm by myself. Oh. You guys hear that? Come on, train, hurry up. There. There's nobody in here. Did you guys hear that? As you guys can see, there's nobody upstairs. That was the loudest thing I've heard tonight. We're going to do this again. Okay, I'm back at the bathroom. Can you walk in here with me? I can come with you. See, the closer I get to the room, it stops. <laughs> okay, I can't get that close. It's like once I leave and walk back towards the room, 
the activity stops. Okay, I'm in the bathroom. Can you walk again? Literally this right here, there's the there's the transmitter, okay? It's just a bunch of freaking dolls and Ouija boards. You can see it's no knocking or anything right now. You come to the bathroom, which is creepy. We'll close the door. We won't even close it all the way. Can you knock again? I'm out of there. Knock super hard. I can't hear you. See, the minute I come out of there, guys, I mean, you guys have seen that, what, four times now? Do not quite understand. Okay, let's put the baby dolls back.